So in this video we're going to look at umbrella blocking a test phishing site and also if we get a chance just have a look at changing that block page just so that you can see the sort of customizations you can make. Okay so let's just show it you not working if you see what I mean. So what I'm going to do is just end that slideshow and I'm going to jump to our test sites that we're going to use. We're going to be using one of the open DNS test sites which is internetbadguys.com. Now at the moment, I'm not protected by Umbrella, so I should actually get through to the site. And there you see, we've actually got through to that internetbadguys.com, it's that test phishing site. Okay, so let's go and have a look and see if we can fix that. So if I jump onto my um, Umbrella overview and I can look at my policies, and as it happens, I know that I'm hitting this, uh, this general chaff policy. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to have a look at those security settings and you'll see that I've, I've not got it connecting phishing attacks. So let's change that. So let's turn that on. So now we'll be protected against those phishing sites. So let's just set that. Set and return and then we'll slowly count to 10. Close that tab down. So we'll just now test that. We'll go to internetbadguys.com. And you'll see there we've got the block page from Cisco Umbrella. OK, so that's really what's happening. So we're basically being sent a, uh, a block page IP address instead of the real IP address for uh, internetbadguys.com. So we can go back and just look at the blocking page in that policy. So here's our policy. Um, let's just show you that one so you can see it. Chaff General. So there's that security settings that we've just changed and we can come in and change the block page. So here we're not going to use the default. This was the default page, which is the one we've just seen. What we're going to do is we're going to use a custom block page and we'll use this one. Hit save. Close down any browser windows that we've already used and then we should be able to test again. Still not quite seen it, it can take a couple of seconds. Let's just go and show you what that block page looks like. If we go onto the components, we can just jump in. You can see I've made a few block pages. This is the one that we were using. So all requests are the same, and I've popped in the little logo. So we should see a page that looks like that. So let's go and try and try that again. It just takes always. So now we've applied that custom block page. Let's just go and test that one. So if I jump out to internetbadguys.com again, you'll see our new block page. We're able to put our own text, put in a logo, and you can actually uh, report an incorrect message, incorrect text. Okay, so that's showing a phishing attack, blocking it, uh, and then setting a custom block page.